Hey guys, what's up? This is Yuli at the Microsoft Certified Kid back again. And today I want to talk to you why that I use the YouTube mobile site over the YouTube app or perhaps even any of the YouTube app. Well, firstly, just like a small advantage is that um, I know that all the YouTube app are quite small. In fact, some of them are probably maybe just a few megabyte big, but still, um, the mobile YouTube size is a website, so, well, it doesn't really take up any space, which is an advantage if you, if you are like me, who's got 16 gigabyte iPad, which is running quite low on storage. Also, another advantage of um, of the YouTube web, uh, mobile website over the YouTube app is that you can actually change your video quality um, on the YouTube app as automatic, which is kind of a disadvantage in some way because if you go like a low in internet connection, it will automatically switch to like a really low quality. Um, in on in the YouTube app, there's just like um, a really low quality. I don't even know what it is. It's like it's almost impossible to see so that's why I'm using the YouTube app because um, when I get like maybe low connection on my internet it will still play on 720p I don't know why I just prefer like um, waiting for it to buffer rather than lower it to like a lower quality also if you're like me who's got two channel you can actually sign to both on the YouTube mobile website and just keep switching between them which is something that you can't do on um, I think any of the YouTube app because you can only sign in one account at a time. Also something that you can do in the mobile YouTube website is of course watching live stream, stream which I think doesn't exist on any other YouTube app either. However, one disadvantage with the YouTube mobile site is that when you're playing video your full screen, Safari bar is still showing. Also, the mobile YouTube app is not as responsive as some of the um, YouTube apps, so, you know, it is a website, so you can't expect it to be like, uh, to be more responsive than maybe, uh, for example, an app. Um, it's pretty good, but sometimes um, there's like some bit of lag, and sometimes when you press a button, it might not work, or then all those stuff. Um, I'll let you see in the video to decide. Um, it's alright, but not the best. Certainly, um, uh, other YouTube apps are better. Overall, I think the um, YouTube web app is still better than any of the YouTube app. It, all, it offers more feature, it doesn't take up any space and because it's a website it updates automatically so you don't have to go to the app store to um, constantly update it. Um, so yeah, I think maybe Google really need to improve their YouTube app so it can be just as good as their mobile YouTube website because I think apps should be better than website you know. And plus, um, the YouTube uh, the website is not that responsive to the mobile website. So if you um, take all these features and put it into the YouTube app, you will get a responsive app, but also a um, app that has all the features of the website. I'm Yuli from the Microsoft Certified Kit. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Yuli signing out.